The next part of our exercise is about loops. Loops are specific structures that cycle through a section of code as long as condition is met. There are several types of loops. We will start with the simplest one and this is while loop. So first we'll create a class with the name while loop and we will also create main method for it. So the while loop is the very simple one and the format, the structure of it looks as following. First we have keyword while and then in parenthesis we are specifying boolean expression. And inside of curly braces we are putting our statement. The next line is optional and we can put here increment or decrement. So increment you do remember, this is when we have a variable name, I will put it briefly here, variable name and then it, fo uh, it follows by plus plus and in case of decrement we have minus minus. That's all. This is actually our while loop. We will now just use a very simple example to show how it works. So let us imagine that we have uh, one integer variable counter that is currently set to zero and the condition or our boolean expression is as long as our variable um, is less than 10 that is counter less than 10. We would like to calculate uh, the price that is that will be of double uh, data type and the price is calculated in the following way. Price equals counter times 10. And we would like to print out system out print line our statement for printing something to the console we would like to print here price and as increment we are writing counter plus plus. So what will happen in this while loop? While loop will check first whether the value of counter variable that is uh, declared here is less than 10. If this is true, if the boolean expression equals true, then this statement here will be executed. That is, if this is true, the price variable will be uh, assigned the value of counter times 10. This, will be the, this value will be printed to the console and the counter variable will be increased by 1. That is, in our case now, we have 0. It is less than 10, yes. Double price is 0 times 10. It is still 0, so 0 will be printed to, out to the console. And then 0 plus 1 will be 1, so we are still inside of our loop. And in the next run, the condition will be checked again. So the counter is now 1. 1 is less than 10. Yes, it is true. And then the following code will be executed. And this code will be repeated as long as condition is met, as long as counter variable is less than 10. It means that when counter variable achieves the value of 10, this uh, loop uh, will be, uh, there will be exit from the loop. 
So now we will run the code and we see our results. We are starting with zero and then each code iteration is printed out to the console and we see the results. So I advise you to uh, uh, create pre uh, printing um, to the console statements within loops for yourself when you are learning just to check how uh, what is happening inside of the loop. So this is pretty uh, simple example and now we will come to uh, one a bit more complicated one. For this purpose we will create another class is called while loop 2 and let us imagine that we have not only one variable that we need to check but two variables. So let us say we have a near real example uh, of a mouse uh, and the mouse uh, that wants to eat cheese. So we have a cheese, some specific amount of cheese and um, some specific size of the belly of the mouse and the mouse can eat cheese as long as there is some cheese and as long as there is some space in the belly. So we have two variables. The first variable is of type integer. It is room in belly. And let us say that the maximum that this uh, variable is equals to five and another variable is bytes of cheese and the cheese uh, is so big that only 10 bytes can be made of the piece so we want uh, we want let our mouse eat so the mouse can eat as long as um, there is some space in the belly and as long as there, are, there is some cheese. And for this purpose we are applying while loop. So while there is um, some cheese while and that means that while bytes of cheese are greater than zero and uh, without and room in belly is greater than zero in this case the mouse can eat and then the bites of cheese will be decremented and room in belly will be decremented too. And we would like to print something to our console. Bytes of cheese this is the variable plus pieces of cheese left it means that Every time this condition was, uh, will be checked, then our two variables will be decremented and this statement will be printed out to the console with each loop run. So let us print our statement. So first bytes of cheese are 10 and we are, uh, will put here also space, nine pieces of cheese left and so on till our condition is not uh, anymore, cannot be met anymore. While loops are very simple, 
However, you need to remember two important things about them. First, you need to define your variables before the while loop, and then you can use them inside. You see that in our condition, you're using here already variables that already are declared and initialized before. The next very important thing is to check that with your loop, while loop or any other loop, you don't create infinite loop. That is, you need to check that your variables um, that you are using inside the loop, that the value is changing with time. This is the purpose of our decrement here. And in this case, we are making sure that we do not create infinite loop. So let us uh, have a look on uh, infinite loop, how it looks like. So let us create a class while loop three. And let us say that we have two variables, integer one with value two and integer 2 with value 5. Um, we are using our while loop while, let us say, 1 is less than 10. We want to increment the variable 2 and we are, would like to print and we would like to print out the values. Of the variable 2. So now let's first check the um, check the loop. While loop is checking now whether the variable 1 is less than 10. Yes it is now less than 10, it's number 2. Then in this condition when it is true the variable 2 will be incremented. So the variable will receive the value 6. And this value, current value, uh, will be printed to the console. In the next iteration, our one variable, our one variable that is has still value of 2 is still equal, uh, is still uh, less than 10. So this um, condition is true, so the statement will be here executed. And still, till uh, since our one variable stays the same all the time, all iterations, you don't have any increments or decrements for, um, well, increment in this case for one variable, it will be always true. It means that here you are entering um, infinite loop and when you execute this, you see that in our console um, our machine is now busy, so in order to stop you need to terminate it here. Then it is stopped. So you need to check very carefully that you don't create infinite loops. The next uh, type of loop that we are going to cover um, is do while loop. So let us have a look again on uh, while loop. Here we have our boolean expression and statement that is uh, that will be executed, all those statements uh, here inside, will be executed only in the case when this boolean expression equals true. When this boolean expression, if this boolean expression equals to false, then the whole block here inside of curly braces will be skipped and the next code that is following will be executed. That means that if we do want to execute some specific line anyway and our condition uh, is not met, then we cannot do this. For these cases there is a do while loop there. So now we will create a new class with the name do while loop. So the uh, structure for uh, the do while loop is pretty similar to while loop uh, and 
it looks in the following way. So first do and we have here some statement that will be executed in case um, when, when actually this uh, part of code will be executed. And then we have some condition, some um, boolean expression or condition. That also corresponds to this statement. So, what uh, how do we re how do we read this code? Do execute this statement while this condition is met. This kind of structure ensures that the statement the statement will be executed minimum one time. If this boolean expression is true equals to true then it will be executed once more. If this exec if boolean expression is false from the beginning, then the, uh, this while loop will be uh, exited, but our statement was executed once at the beginning. So let us copy this and comment it out so that you can uh, see it. And uh, let us say that we have uh, an, an example with integer i that equals to 5. So first that we want to do, we want to print to our console the value of our variable. Let us e. And then we have our mm, while expression, but before one, we need here to put increment or decrement in order not to create any uh, infinite loop. So here I will put it increment or decrement. However, this is also optionally. So um, what does this increment uh, i minus minus uh, means? This is actually the same as if we write i equals to i minus one. So we have uh, covered this already in our previous uh, exercises. However, I will just write it for you just to remember. And our Boolean expression is i greater than zero. And now we're executing this code and we see that first i is equal to n. So first what we do, we print our um, value of our variable to the console any in any case. Then the decrement is applied and then the condition is checked whether i is greater than zero. It is true, so in this case we are entering the loop once again.